Hello everyone, my name is Romat and today we're gonna do a full Tilia tutorial again. I am somewhere in silver towards silver 1, possibly gold, and I am playing in platinum matchmaking rating. So basically I'm against platinum 2, platinum 1, some diamonds, some X diamonds, and I am currently 100% uh, win rate in 23 games as Tilia, and we want to keep that 100% win rate going, so... We might lose some time, there is obviously a lose that's about to come because how much luck can I have actually? I mean, I had no games with AFKs in ranked solo queue and I have 22 wins and one loss or 22 wins and one loss. That one loss is from another champion, so I played Tristana that game. So I still consider 100% weight on Talia, which is. Uh, and we want to speak a little about Talia and what I play, how I... Ooh, how I played Talia and how I managed to carry those 23 games actually in a row. And most of the time is that the trick is actually that I followed the bounties. So that's all I did, honestly. Besides, obviously playing a little bit uh, better than the average Talia for my elo, or maybe more than better, I actually managed to follow the ones that have bounty in their team every time. So if Gangplank had the bounty of 300 gold, I didn't let him scale too much and I tried to shut him down. I got the gold and I got fed. And then I one-shotted players I'm so sorry, it's the name, so yeah. And then I want shooted players, and I always followed, followed the bounty, so it's very important as Talia main to carry by killing and one-shotting someone after you got fed and getting those bounties off. Now, they have a Fizz ADC, and that's interesting. So, I'm playing with Electrocute, uh, Taste of Blood, Presence of Mind, of the Grace, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, and Magic Resist for secondary, Doran Ring, and two potions as usual. Uh, against Assassins, you can obviously go for Biscuits and Time War Tonic, because it's an amazing... Thing to do because of the that instant HP and for items obviously Ludens if you are a mid laner like me that doesn't like GLP uh, some mid laners do go for GLP and this guy isn't really into dodging it seems even though he's probably high plat and he missed that the electrocute he did right he has corrupting so I might need to get might need to get some parts of uh, that refillable maybe and I want to bait him into a full uh, look I don't I don't need to bother okay I just kite smart trades okay that wasn't a smart trade <laughs> smart trades but that wasn't okay so uh, what I need to do this game besides talking about some rune summoner spells you can see I'm playing with ignite uh, some items I'll probably go the typical route you're going to see uh, so obviously Ludens into sork shoes maybe Rabadons if I get fed maybe orb I need to be careful though and very important I need to be careful to their Udir because if okay I see him on top because if their uh, if their Udir just camps me and ganks me I won't be able to do much uh, if they are smart about it obviously but if I play around vision I will not let Udir uh, get on top of me basically so we're good like that come on jump on me And that was it. That's how you start the game. As Kindred might steal some experience from me now, but it's okay because we want her to be ahead. But we start this game a little bit too professional. So we have. Okay. We're still winning these trades. Now we need to be expect we need to expect that uh, Odir to come again mid or towards mid, and so we position as such. Ah, I tried to predict that. It was way too slow. Anyway, we're going back to mid lane now because LeBlanc has no corrupting potion type. She has just. She has just biscuits, but we're good. I'm gonna push her back right now. Exactly like this. And we're allowed to actually do a lot of things now. Because of our immense advantage. We, we shouldn't let her recall though. Because that would 
it just would be a shame. So we're gonna see. Ah. Anyway. So again, I kind of stopped around uh, the fact of the item. I stopped talking about it. Uh, yeah, lost chapter into Sorg Shoes, then move into Ludens, then Vision Words all the time, then Orb into Rabadons. We don't need this game to build Moral Nomicon because we don't have any heals besides Janna's ult and Gangplanks, but those are shields mostly from Janna. That ult, it's. Eh. So, uh, yeah, and then maybe if the game goes long enough, uh, and Void stuff, Zonia, obviously a stopwatch between maybe Rabadons, Orb Rabadons or Rabadons, Zonia completed, somewhere there we need, we need definitely need uh, an Orb, a an, uh, stopwatch against those champions because uh, ultimate from Gangplank, ultimate from Fizz, maybe some LeBlanc combo and I'm actually dead, so we gotta be careful around that. And now we're gonna make level 6 and I'm Actually, not afraid to use mana here. I could do a full push, actually. Right now. Because I might expect LeBlanc to do her full combo. Okay, she got Tower Shot, that's, that's fine. So, we heal up with the potion and we move bot, instantly moving bot. Even though. Yeah, we, we, still, we still can do things now, because it takes a little time for uh, for her to do anything. We can we can actually kind of try a, a full combo here. Uh, I'm going back to mid lane though, and I think set just outplayed then. Yeah, we expect now a LeBlanc to come. Solves the LeBlanc problem. I don't think he has any flash. And you can see the difference <laughs> in Elo skill level and even in jungles. Can I have it? Okay, I don't know if she wanted me to have it though. So we started the game on a very high foot. Uh, this game will probably be a short one, and as it started, I'm quite sure now that my win rate won't go down, but I don't want to jinx it. Uh, but you gotta, I don't know, you gotta try to play like your around your jungler all the time, like I do right now, and you gotta try to surprise their uh, their jungler whenever possible. So, for example, now I knew he would come here, so I actually went for it, and, and then we do the outplay to escape. Can you not take those, please? Jesus, it's like playing with an AFK. Okay, I cannot really stay much around me now. Because LeBlanc will instantly jump on me. But I'm just gonna do a combo from a distance. I actually can stay, can stay a little more. Because she will think that I recall. If I stay here, okay. And minions will, she will push minions into the tower. Okay, I just want to take the wave. Trying to push for a Ludens. I might lose that CS, I will certainly lose it, but I don't care, I don't fucking care about it. So I stay here, as you can see. And as Atelier, okay, that heal actually <laughs> completed my HP, as Atelier you have a safety net, okay? You don't have any problems if you put that E down, and if you maybe have Ignite up, you have, you have some safety nets, so you don't. There is no reason for you to panic that much. Okay, she hit a minion, I want the trade. Uh, Odir might be around, I mean most probably he's around. I'm not sure what's happening there. Ah, okay, I see Odir now. Okay, so we gotta let her jump on us. That's a problem. And then Okay, she's actually <laughs> quite suicidal through that. Uh, we don't we don't really play aggressive 
if we don't have that spell, okay? So just do as I do against LeBlanc and against anyone with dashes. Now, we can look towards bot lane because there, uh, there might be some action. And we can take this Drake, obviously. And Kindred is so far ahead already, it's nothing more funny. And we're seeing Janna. But again, as you can see, I'm returning to mid lane all of the time. I'm actually having 5 kill participation out of 8. I'm not, I'm not interested in... Just back off. And it's okay for jungler for a jungler to actually take some some bits of your uh, CS, especially if uh, they get massively ahead like they do right here. So passing some experience to your jungler is good in this meta because if you get your jungler ahead, then he will probably start deleting the other jungler, and it's fine, really. And this guy is an Odiro TP. That's kind of funny. that I want to take another plate but I'm afraid I'm gonna get LeBlanc'd okay got it and I, I move immediately out because there might be an Odir coming around man I'm ordering food okay so right now we go back we get the first item and we buy not one but two vision words and we start building towards the orb we see the first gank of Udyr, pretty good gank actually, so he managed to get the kill, and I'm not sure what this guy did there, he just inted his way through, that teleport was absolutely not necessary, but I think I need to go pot now, yeah, because the wave is pushed, so I should have gone here first, I just wanna put the word here, and now we can just ult bot because they have no anything, We're good. Okay, I just hinted because apparently Fizz has four kills now for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I hinted that that one a lot. Now this guy should back off here. Back off. She has ult though, but she <laughs> got CC'd right before using it. Okay, so we got we gave them a lot of gold. Okay. That's not okay, we had, both of us had immense bounties and we passed a lot of gold towards their, uh, well, towards their uh, ADC because apparently he deals a lot of damage with that ult even if he's level freaking 7. I understand now though why, why his win rate is that high. So we gotta focus on uh, coming back into the top of the game. There is a 3 level difference on the junglers but we're not that far ahead especially if his ults right here and kills again our squishy squishy ADC obviously twitch will eventually outscale but until then we gotta gotta start doing things I need to move bot more often because if I catch them up right now on a wrong bot then it's over for us so I'm just staying right here okay ah okay we got it right we want this tower here that's why I'm going so aggressive. Get the tower. This guy is pinging me for no reason. And he's to me, so yeah, it's fine. Typical. Typical player, I suppose. Uh, now, I'm gonna ping that LeBlanc is missing. Obviously, it's a bit too late. And we want this Drake. And also this. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she actually is going to skip, probably not. But really, I could have stayed mid and get some plates there. I can just hit, free hit this tower. Okay, so this guy is getting a double kill here, which is great. We get another free tower on mid lane. And I'm coming to help this guy. Just get oh my god. I don't have W. Oh shit. Okay. 
I did get an... Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't know where someone died, but yeah, I shouldn't have missed that one. Okay, so... Obviously, we're gonna get another kill here because of the good placed... Uh, kindred ult, but we have again bounties on top of our head. And I hate that... I managed to hit it all good for once. So you can see as we already won the game basically and all I had to do was a level 2, 3 maybe roam. And that actually put us so far ahead. You can see the difference in the junglers. And they don't really have many chances of coming back up. Just because we entered the bit there was a chance for them to come back up and because this guy comes. Cannot do much though. And I'm gonna give a free kill again because Soraka came for through this way for some reason. What is this? I don't understand this here though. And now they're gonna die because. <sighs> because. I don't even know. Or Mr. Fist guy here. Yeah, never mind. They are dead. Should I get? There is only one conqueror. It's okay. And he's dead. So yeah, I died another time for no reason. Ways to ruin your KDA. Again, if you see a fizz, either play with exhaust and use it at the right time, or be more careful because you're going to die exactly as I did so really really not recommended now I'm gonna take all these guys just because he's a prick this guy might die now she afk a bit there There's not much I can do to stop him. Yeah, he jumped, he went away. I don't, I don't understand these teammates. Besides the fact that they flame, they don't even <laughs> have basic map awareness. So that's fine, I suppose. And that was a horrible W. Stop. I do want that blue. Now, the only one we have to be careful about actually is Fizz. We cannot really one shot him. And if he came around here, he actually might murder me. I've seen that. So, I'm gonna do this real quick and move right here so that there is no actual chance for them to catch up with me. I think this is still my vision ward. And if I put the vision ward here. I think okay see if he's and Udir is here so I have a free I have a free pass from oh my god and they are doing some more inting okay I still kill Udir here can chase him for all the map if I have to Fizz getting kills, not okay. And that's the only way they can actually beat us if he's ult someone. Okay. Well, that's a way to actually int a bit. But he got the kill on Fizz, okay. So you can see my itemization, right? going on track you can see the way we're actually building up we're doing shenanigans with that fizz that's not generally okay but he's dead right now so we can just freely take the inhibitor uh, rip. we don't really have any issues really so we have to back off because fizz is coming almost killed 
the plank there. There is a fizzle coming right here, somewhere right here. There, there's gotta be a fizzle. Okay. If that ult lands on me, I'm gone. Okay, they are way too deep for me to help them. I mean, I could do it, but I'm not going to follow into the suicide zone. I don't have anything to help them with. Even though this guy is 1 versus 3 into right there, but I just rather focus on objectives and non into Like right here. I mean, yeah, I believe, guys, you would love some intense action moments like that, oops. But that's not the point of the series. The point of the series is actually climb and play smart. It's not... Look how insane I am to make... It's not to make clickbait thumbnails and so, but I really want to win those games by displaying skill. There is a vision word. There is... I'm certain there is a vision word. There is no vision word, okay. I'm actually in need of some defensive playstyle. Okay, I'm seeing them. Alt. I suppose Kindred doesn't really care either about flamers. And there is a tornado that's coming up. Now I have my W. I've tried the one shot there, okay. She backed off. And uh, for some reason, Jenna has Ardent in a team comp that's not that necessary, really. That was a bad, that was a real, real bad ignite there, but I did remove, I did remove a flap, so I suppose to keep. I want to use this guy as... oops. I don't know, that was a misclick. I want to use this guy as a main tank, main zone of... you know. Okay. I'm gonna flash because Fizz, Fizz could have jumped on me there. Even though no one has Morelos. They have world here. I don't want to risk dying again. As you can see, I can keep them very, very far away from these minions. Okay, and now I'm getting someone here. But apparently, they don't freaking die. Everyone flashes away. Come on. Back off. It's fine, back off. Is Kindred soloing Baron? Yeah, we're actually winning. But I'm dead right here because of the... Oh! I mean... She could probably 1 versus 3 here, if she cared to butter that much, but... Old, Okay. And I believe she, she wins now. She no longer wins, I have 5000 gold, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's get items. So, we want that, we're gonna sell this. I can actually see my logic during the itemization process and we can get another track in one minute it's over we won by a long margin but but it is a quite difficult game because you can see in every elo this is the main problem some people just randomly int as i just did with that phase on bot lane at the start of the game 
and that's really not healthy if you want to actually have a safe path towards 100% win rate. So it's quite interesting. And the main trick if you have a bounty on top of your head is to sin seriously and defensively. Be careful on not losing that gold. Okay. That. No Soraka ult coming up. I believe she doesn't care about me. But yeah, you can ex you can see those lower levels of play. I believe even in platinum, in high platinum, which this elo is actually. So yeah, map awareness is an interesting factor that doesn't seem to be very common here and we can actually expect the fizz coming up I'm playing like this because I don't want to get one shotted by the fizz honestly and while we could probably go for Drake I don't believe it's any more necessary but if you don't want to risk it that's what you gotta do I don't like this guy, honestly. Fizz has to throw a gold ult. Because else they're just gonna get rocked on. Okay. Their main people did. So we got the game. We finally won. This is another beautiful moment and tutorial on how I actually play this game and what is my trick to actually carry without any clickbait and weird shit like that. But yeah, for YouTube kind of forces you to make your thingy a bit more, you know, clickbaitish. That's the YouTube algorithm. Don't judge me. Anyway, anyway, I believe. We still kept our 100% winner rate. I also believe we did pretty fine. We are actually going for gold soon, but we do have a platinum matchmaking rating, which is kind of weird. And I'm going to tell you currently, we are at silver one, zero LP, with a lot of, with 24 actually wins in a row as Talia on Solo queue, 100% winner. I'm actually in top 2018 now. Talia mains on a Rob Nordic and East as a silver, which is kind of amazing. So we're gonna keep this win rate up. We're going to, we're going for it. We're pushing as hard as we can, and see you in the next episode, guys. By the way, I'm going to make another, as you've seen the Oriana videos. I'm probably going to make two videos a week, one with another champion and one with Talia, so that we keep uh, the Talia mains happy and I can actually go towards other champions as well, as well, so I don't get insane, you know, because, I mean, there are some people who play millions of games on the same champion, but that's not me, really. But I do enjoy this win rate, so let's focus on going as far as you can. Thank you for all the support. Please join my Discord if you want to talk a little more about Talia, Talia fan art. Talia games are off topic, or if you want to share a pic with your of your dog or cat so yeah join our discord and see you next time guys and have fun goodbye